Now, with the year almost ending and the festival season just around the corner, children's storybooks are selling like crazy. And you can see just doing a simple children's storybook search on Amazon, we get three children's storybooks which are among the best sellers right now on Amazon. So now more than ever is the best time for you to start creating children's storybooks that you can sell on Amazon or any other site that is out there and start getting that money into your bank account. Now, the main goal of this video is to share with you an AI tool that will allow you to create children's storybooks with very minimal effort. Let me just show you a sample of something you might be able to create. So you can see this is actually a children's storybook that I actually just created just a few minutes ago and this storybook took me less than five minutes to actually create. And not only are you able to create storybooks with this AI tool, the same AI tool can help you create videos that you can actually use to advertise either on YouTube. You can even create a YouTube channel dedicated to just creating children content and you can actually be reading these storybooks. The secret AI tool I'm actually talking about is known as Read Kids. Now, Read Kids is an AI tool that is 100% dedicated to creating content for children. Now, you can create storybooks for kids or you can create video stories for kids. To get started with Read Kids, all you have to do is simply click on Try Read Kids for free. When you sign up with your email, you're actually going to get 1,000 credits that are valid for a month. Now, if you do decide to actually continue using the tool, you do have to actually upgrade your account to a six dollar plan or maybe the twenty dollar plan that is valid for three months or you can actually pay sixty dollars that is valid for six months so when you're done watching this video simply click the link in the description to take you to the home page of read kids or you can simply type readkids.com into your browser so once you log into read kids you get two options the first option is that you can create storybooks for children using ai and the second option is that you can create video stories for children using AI. Now, in this case, we're going to be creating children's storybooks. So let's just go right ahead and you just need to click here where it says create books using AI. On the next step, you'll be given two options. There's the custom option and the template option to create your storybook. Now, when you choose the template option, you're going to get a list of templates that have already been created with stories and all you have to do is change a few things here and there with those templates, like changing the images, changing the stories, changing the scripts and the like. However, we're going to go with the custom option because we're going to create everything from scratch so you just need to click right here now on this page is where you're going to set up your story and also give a brief description of the story idea that you have so that the AI tool will do everything for you so the first thing you want to do here where it shows 5,000 depending with the story length that you want to generate you can change this to actually choose the number of characters you'd want your story to be so the longest you can generate is 15,000 characters for your story so I'm just going to leave it at 5,000 which is more than enough for a children's story book and the age group you're going to choose the age that you want so let's say if you have an idea of a story in mind you're going maybe let's say to choose let's say for example let's just go with six to eight now the reason you want to choose the age is because the ai to also generate a story that is suitable to that age group and here you want also to choose the type of story you want generated you have bedtime story fable fairy tale adventure education fiction realistic and the likes so you just choose whatever you want so i'm just going to stick to bedtime story and you can see when we come back to Amazon I've seen that bedtime stories are selling like crazy now here where it says funny and the likes this is the writing style that you want so here you can choose heartwarming action-packed nostalgic empowering spooky educational now with bedtime stories I find heartwarming works very very well then here the ratio you will just want to leave it at one to one if you were creating let's say a video story you'd want to choose 16 by 9 then here where it says describe the theme of your story you can be as brief as possible you can be as detailed as you want so for example i'm just going to type in something like need a bedtime story about lucy the duck and freddy the frog the story should teach about friendship so it can be about anything that you want so here they're going to show you the number of credits that are going to be used up to generate your story that is about 5,000 characters so i'm just going to click on generate within a few seconds the ai2 has actually come up with a very good story that is suitable for kids of this age that we chose which is six to eight Yes, and you can see the number of characters that have been generated which is 5794 that's why i said just specify the number of characters right here so if you wanted the story to be longer we could have specified the number of characters to be longer right here now you'd want to go through the story and if you want to make some edits all you have to do is simply type in what you want right here and you are good to go so once that is done the next thing you want to do is to generate storyboards now think of the storyboards just as pages or scenes that you're going to create so i'm just going to click generate storyboards so you can see that 
the AI tool has actually divided this story into storyboards and in total it has generated around 14 pages which are storyboards for our children storybooks and it has also assigned gender for our stories okay so for example Lucy is female while Freddy is male and Freddy is the frog while Lucy is the duck so let's say if you are happy with what has been generated right here all you have to do is simply click next if you want to add an extra page you can simply click here add the page and you will have the AI to do the rest so I'm just going to click next the next thing is to choose the style you want for your children storybook so you can see there's a lot of styles you can actually choose from just for demonstration purposes I'm just going to use this one I just love it I don't know why but I just like this style so I'm just going to go with this one so the next thing is to actually set the character images now in this case we have Lucy and Fred and if you remember Lucy is the duckling and Fred is actually the frog now if you want you can simply upload an image to use with the AI tool or you can simply generate now because we are using the AI tool I want to show you how simple it is I'm just going to click on generate and when you click on that one you can see that the AI tool already generated a prompt to actually generate our character now what I want you to do here where it's is showing four I want you to change it maybe to two just generate two images and you can use up less credits to generate your image so I'm just going to click generate and while it's generating I'm also going to do the same for Fred so that it will be done at the same time so I'm not going to click on Fred and if you want you can also change the prompt you can add some details you want and the likes so I'm just going to leave it as it is and simply also change it to two and click generate now it will take some few seconds to actually generate the image so just be patient the image for Lucy has been generated now here it has been set automatically to the first generation that was done by the AI if you want to change it simply click on the same picture that was generated and here you can see the options that you have so if we had left it at four we would have had the four options right here so we have this option for Lucy or this option that we want so I'm just going to leave it with this option and simply click apply and do the same for Freddy we're just going to click on Freddy and see the options that we have we have this one as our Freddy or we have this option for Freddy all right I think I'm just going to go with the first one and simply click apply as well and now that we've set our characters all we have to do is simply click next now the next part is actually generating the scenes and the backgrounds now the AI tool will do this automatically and you can see it's already doing that it's already generating prompts for each and every page and every part of our story so you can see that all the pages have been set with a prompt for a scene and the character that will appear on that page has actually been set if you want all the characters to appear you can simply click on this icon for the image and you can add the character so that both of the characters appear in the scene we need to go right ahead and generate the images so now you can see here is showing that 100 credits will be used to generate uh, the scene now in order for you to actually change the number of credits that have been used you're going to click on this blank option right here and you also want to change it to only maybe one or two images if you click on one you're going to use 50 if you click on two you're going to use 70 now I like to go with two options it makes things easier and simply click generate and you're going to do the same for the others so I'm just going to quickly do everything that I've showed you for the rest of the page numbers or scenes that we have so once you do everything for the entire pages scenes will be generated with the characters in those scenes and the good thing about this AI tool is that it tries by all means to have a consistent character for the story so you can see that the duckling is right here the frog is right here and you can see this makes a very good story okay now if you want you can change some of the scenes that are here for example let's say this story the duckling looks very small you can actually maybe click on it to maybe change it to the other image for example this one okay and you can simply click apply so that you change the image of the story that is up to you so if you are happy with all the scenes that have been generated the next thing you just need to do is to simply click the next button this now brings you to the editor page now this is where you are going to be able to actually adjust your text change the colors of your text and the like so for example here we have this text you can see it doesn't look very nice so what you can do is you can adjust it maybe by just simply dragging it down or maybe if you don't like it this side you can even reduce the sizing like that it's just a matter of drag and drop on the editors page is where you can be able to adjust the text the size the font you can add music let's say if you were creating a video you can also add audio if you want it to be narrated so I'm going to show you everything quickly so that you actually understand how you can use this tool so that when you start using it you won't have any changes want to check how your book looks like you can simply click on the present now before I do the presentation the other thing I would love to show you is how you can add let's say type of conversational 
text. This is something that I like about this AI tool. Let me just go to an image where both of the characters are in the image. Okay, let's go with this one. We have the duck and the frog. So right here now, let's say if we wanted to add something like the duck is saying something and the frog also answering, you can just click on this T icon, which is the text icon. When you click on it right here, you can see you have these options that are available. Now, before maybe you add these options, you would want maybe to add a bubble right here to show like maybe someone is thinking and they like. So what you're going to do, you click on this option, the image option, and you get a lot of graphics right here that you can use. So all you have to do is simply click on the graphics you want. So for example, I want this one. I'm just going to click on it. And when it's added right here, you can just place it maybe here and resize it a bit like that. Okay, and you can add even some text right here. Just click on this text option, simply drag it right here and just maybe add something like that. As simple as that. So you can actually customize it however you want. You can actually move this maybe somewhere here to the top. Okay, it's up to you how you want it. If you want, you can even add some background to the text so that it stands out even more. Let's just go right ahead and switch to presentation mode so that you see how our book looks like. So here it is Lucy and Freddy's pond adventure and let's go to the next one you can see lucy the duck felt lonely by the pond so you can see that is our story now for those of you who want to create even a video for the book where maybe you would want maybe to publish it on a youtube channel or maybe you just want to actually create a marketing material for your book let me just go right ahead and show you how you can add let's say audio and the like so i'm just going to go to the beginning right here and if you wanted to add let's say some background music just click on this one which says background music when you click on it you get a list of background music now if you're concerned about copyrights read kids actually gives you 100 percent commercial rights to these things so every song that you're going to use don't worry about any copyright you have the rights to use them even for commercial use so you can just simply click on some of the music listen to read and you can simply choose the one you like for example let's just say maybe let's click this one which saying playful <laughs> Okay, so let's say if we are happy with this one, all you have to do is click this plus icon. See this icon showing means that the music has actually been added to our image okay, or to our story. The other thing maybe you'd want is that the story be narrated by a voiceover. And the good thing with Read Kids also is that you can actually use AI voiceover, which sounds very natural and also narrated by voices that sounds like children okay so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the audio option right here and it will bring you to the audio section where you can actually adjust all these stories so let's say for example if i go right ahead and choose maybe let's say i want to have the first page second page third page narrated i'm just going to select them right here and when I'm select, I've selected them, I can also select a voice. By default, it's chose Oliver. But if you want to listen to the types of voices or how the voices sound, you're going to click on select voice right here. And from here, you're going to actually choose whichever you want. I personally love Olivia and Ava or Emma because I think a girl child's voice sounds nice. Also, even a boy child's voice also sounds nice. It's up to you. It's just a preference personally. Okay, so if I click on, let's say, Emma, you can listen to the voice. There are four people in my family. All right, so let's just go right ahead and select Emma. We're going to use Emma to narrate this story. And once you've selected, make sure you select all the voices if you want everything to be actually selected. Now, if you're just creating a marketing material, you'd maybe want just to have a narration for the first, second, and third page then you can use that one to advertise so that they can buy your book so the next thing is just to click generate and the ai tool will create voiceovers that are for the entire book okay so let's just go right ahead and wait for it to actually finish generating the audios so once the entire voiceovers have been generated the voiceovers will automatically be added to your storybook and they'll be perfectly in sync now you can go right ahead and listen to some of the voiceovers by just simply clicking the play icon right here just let's hear it he and freddy's pond adventure and you can feel how the voice sounds like okay nothing like ai just sounds like a child reading a book and right here you can see this is our playful music which will be our background music now before you go to the present mode you have to make sure you click on save right here and finally 
click on the present mode now at times when you rush to click on the present mode you discover that your audio or your music is not playing the reason being is probably is still syncing. you just need to give it a few minutes and try again but make sure you always click on save so let's just go right ahead and click present lucy and freddy's pond adventure Lucy, the duck, felt lonely by the pond. She saw Freddy the frog on a lily pad. Alright, so I'm not going to go through the entire story, but you can see it's very, very nice and very, very engaging and children would love this. So the final thing you'd want to do is to actually export your book. So to do that, you're going to click on these three dots that is right here. When you click on it, you see the options to export. You can export as images or you can export as PDF. Now, personally, I would advise you to export as images now the reason you want to export as images is because let's say if you are creating a different size type of book you'd want maybe to adjust them using a graphics tool like canva and the likes if you want to have full control however it's okay to actually export as pdf because that is a completed book already so i'm just going to click on export pdf our children's storybook has finally been exported and let's just go right ahead and open the pdf and you can see this is actually our story book and this can be published on amazon on or any website that you want so you can actually sell this even on your own website and the likes and this is very very good you can see very nice story that actually can be created so you can see that not only is the pdf high quality but it is very very good and you can actually sell this on amazon on your own website even on social media so thank you very much if this video was helpful make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe thank you